Hey boys and girls, this is Mrs. Vicaretti. I wanted to hop on here and talk to you about a form that I may have shared with you. Um, if you are on Microsoft Teams, um, I shared this form under my page, which is Vicaretti's Group Counseling. Um, it has a little picture of a tent, a camping tent. Um, if you're not part of that page, it's probably because I don't have you on my caseload or I don't see you during the school year. However, that doesn't mean that you don't get to participate. So this form right here is called All About Me. And I have only worked at Lackawanna for a short period of time and I know I've seen many of you and I'm starting to learn a lot about every one of you through our chats and the way that we've been kind of connecting um, through the computer. Um, but that doesn't really get to um, introduce myself to you and there's a couple of classes out there that I really didn't get to get into and get to know you guys so this is a fun way for you guys to um, know a little bit about me and then I also can learn a little bit more about you if you feel comfortable doing this so this form is something that you could type right in um, on whatever device you have you could, on your computer your iPad and I'm pretty sure you should be able to do it on your your phone if you have the right programs on there um, and you, what you can do is you could share this if you like you can either share this um, privately with me um, in a private chat on Microsoft Teams um, which is the little square up on top with the pencil. You can click on that and you can write um, Mrs. Vicaretti in there. Um, and what you could do is you could upload your picture or your file once you save it to whatever device you're on. And you can upload it and you could share what your facts are with me privately. Or if you feel comfortable enough um, introducing your fun facts to everybody on your, on your team in your classroom, uh, you can go ahead and post it on your general wall on the teams. Um, I, I may not be part of those team um, teachers, but the ones that I am part of, um, I will post this on there. So if you're seeing this YouTube video and you're not on Teams and it's not something that you can click on, um, you can always email me and I will share my email later um, once I'm completed with this. Um, and you can email me or you can have your teachers email email me um, and ask for the form and I will be happy to share it with you okay so let's have some fun here so here is a form it's all about me and I'm gonna share some fun facts about you or about me and then what I'm gonna uh, want you to do and I'm hoping that I get some returns back that I learn some fun facts about you and it's really kind of a fun way to get to know each other um, through our houses okay so here we go so this first question here is my favorite colors and this one is tricky because I actually don't have just one I have two I like two colors I like the color yellow because it's the color of sunshine and every time that sun is out I always feel way better and a lot happier and I love the color blue I like to wear blue I just think it's beautiful and there's different shades I love the color yellows and blue my favorite subject um, well, right now my favorite subject is counseling, but when I was a kid, um, I would say my favorite subject was math. Okay? I was not a fan of social studies, I still am not, um, but math is definitely something that I still love um, because I like to solve the problems. I like the trickiness of that. Sorry to any of those social studies teachers. Um, I'm most happy when I, and I'm going to say I'm most happy when I'm camping with my family. Okay. My family and I have a camper. We like to go camping um, all spring and summer long. Um, we have lots of family members and friends that we all camp with and our friends have kids and my kids and we all play together and it's a really nice time to actually just hang out and relax and you don't have to do any chores or work. You just get to have fun and enjoy nature. The last movie I watched was this morning. Um, I watched Yogi Bear. I've never seen that movie before. It's actually really cute if you've never seen it. Yogi Bear. My favorite food is I really like to eat. Um, I like a lot of favorite foods. Um, but if I were to pick one that I would have to eat all the time, I would probably pick breakfast. I love eggs. I love pancakes. Um, but one of my favorite favorites is cereal. I really like cereal. Okay. I really hate it when, hmm, I really hate it when it is super windy outside. Okay. I also hate it when I can't see everybody. <laughs> so I'm going to go on there and I'm going to put it out there. I hate this COVID-19. That is kind of 
testing all of our patients and our abilities to stay in the house with one another forever. I miss all of you and I miss being active. Okay, yesterday I, okay, so this is going to be a different answer for all of you um, because depending on if you fill out this form and when you share it, um, the days are obviously going to be different. But yesterday, um, today's Thursday, uh, May 5th, 14th, yesterday I, um, my, my children and I, we went outside in my yard and we pretended like we were camping and we stayed overnight in our camper. So we slept in our camper in our yard. It was freezing. Our heat didn't work, but it was freezing, but my kids had fun and that was that was um that was worth it. It was a lot of that's where we were watching Yogi Bear. Most people don't know that I um that I played the piano. I played the piano when I was a little girl. Probably for about five years. Started when I was seven. I probably can't play it now though. So if you play an instrument, don't give it up. If I had a million dollars, ooh, if I had a million dollars, what would I do with it? Um, I would pay all my bills, so I don't have to worry about any of that. I would give some to my family, help them out. I'd probably give to a charity, fight the cure for cancer or maybe St. Jude's for kids and then I'll probably buy something fun. What would that be? I don't know. Maybe an awesome swimming pool. Okay. Tomorrow I will. So tomorrow for me and my family is Friday right? and at every school week on Fridays what we do is I let my kids stay up late. Um, they usually build a fort in my living room and we watch movies and eat lots and lots of popcorn. My kids love popcorn. So tomorrow is Friday for me. So we're going to um, build a fort, watch a movie together, and eat popcorn. Who doesn't like popcorn, right? Right now, I feel very, I feel kind of tired. Like I said last night, I slept in a camper that was freezing, so I didn't sleep very good. So I am feeling tired, but I'm happy. Tired, but happy. I'm in a good mood. Okay. My favorite memory is... Oh, I have lots of favorite memories, um, but I am going to go... My favorite memory It was my wedding day. day I married my husband. And when I had my kids. I have two kids. I have an eight-year-old boy and I have a six-year-old girl. Two kids. Okay. So here's some fun facts about me. And down below, um, you can pick or choose if you want to do this. This is more kind of something I've always done when we are together. Um, but this could be fun for those of you who are choosing to do this with your class and those who know each other all year. So basically, this is well, what you do: is you have three facts, and you have to tell three facts about you. And the three facts that you're going to write, one of those facts are going to be false, but you're going to pretend like it's true. So you're going to write three things about you, and you're going to read them like they're all true, but one of them is not going to be. It's going to be false about you, but your friends or I have to guess on which one's not true. Okay, so for an example, I'm going to give you three facts about me. All right, one of the facts are... Um, I live in a house. Okay, back to number two. I have three dogs. And my last one is I hate tomatoes. Okay, so here's some facts about me. I live in a house, I have three dogs, and I hate tomatoes. Okay, one of those facts, which I'm reading to you all like they're true, one of them is not true. Which one do you think it is? Okay. So if you're seeing this form and you want to have fun with this and you want to guess which fact is not true about me, you can go ahead on Microsoft Teams, go to the little chat bar, and you could um, write in Kelly Vicaretti. Okay. And you could chat me. You could send me a picture of your completed form. Or you can say, 
the fact that I think is not true is, and you can write which one you think is not true about me. If you don't want to write one about you, I understand that. That's okay. Um, but if you want to ask questions about what I shared with you on this forum, you can go ahead and do that on the chat. You also could um, maybe answer it on the Teams general page if you are on Teams already, or you can also email me. So if you're seeing this on YouTube and you don't have Microsoft Teams and you're not on there, um, you can also email me, and I will write my email right here on the form. Uh, my email is kvicaretti at lackawannaschools.org. Okay, you can go ahead and you can email me there, and if you want this form, I can send it to you. Um, or you can ask your teachers um, and let them know that you want the form, and I can send it to them. However you guys want to do that, or you can also, again, you just see it on Microsoft Teams. Okay, so I hope you have fun with this, and I hope you learned a little bit about me. And I hope to see you all real soon, and I miss you, and I hope everybody is safe.